Hello children. Welcome to AVS class. How are you all? Hope you all are watching videos and learning about different different topics of AVS. We have learnt many topics in AVS and we are now learning about transport. We learnt water transport, land transport and now we are going to learn about air transport. So today's topic is air transport. The movement of people and goods from one place to another by airplane and helicopters is called air transport. Airplane, helicopters, hot air balloon, fighter planes, then parachute, gliders, all these are air transport. And air transport is the fastest means of transport. Now today we will learn few air transport in detail. Let's start. This is an airplane. It comes in many different shapes and sizes. Airplanes have wings. With the help of these wings, the plane flies in the sky. A person who flies a plane is called a pilot and where the pilot sits in the plane is called a cockpit. Cabin crew and air hostess look after the passengers in the plane. An airplane needs runway to take off and land on the ground. Airport is the place where planes stop. This is a helicopter. Helicopter is also called chopper. There are different types of helicopters such as the military, private and commercial ones. A helicopter moves because of its rotors. These rotor blades of a helicopter are always moving. So it can stop and stay in one place above the ground. Because of these rotor blades, a helicopter can land in any place. It does not need runway like airplane. So they are useful when there are disasters. Food packets, water, medicines and clothes are dropped from the air to the people on the ground with the help of helicopters. When people are injured, Helicopters can carry them to hospitals faster. This is a hot air balloon. There are three main parts to a hot air balloon. The burner that creates heat that rises. The hot air that fills the envelope. That's the balloon part and the basket in which People and pilot sit. It goes up by hitting the air inside the balloon. This basket is attached to the balloon by ropes. The passengers and the pilot stand in the basket. These baskets can come in many sizes. It can have enough places for up to 36 people. This is a fighter plane. They are small military planes. They are made to fight other airplanes. They are often fast. Fighters can carry many different kinds of weapons such as missiles, machine guns and bombs. This is an airship. Airships stay in the sky by floating. It floats like a balloon. An airship has an engine for power and a way to control its direction of movement. This is a rocket. A rocket is a missile or spacecraft. It is used to launch satellites and space shuttles into space. This is a glider. It is a special kind of aircraft that has no engine. 
there are many different types of gliders. They look very much like airplanes. They have wings, a tail, a cockpit and a body. They are also called cell planes. Gliders can carry only one or two persons. This is a parachute. It is an umbrella shaped device on which people or things can float slowly and safely down to the ground from a great height. Parachutes are used in a sport called sky diving. So children, did you enjoy watching different modes of air transport? Till now we have learned all types of transport. Land transport, water transport and air transport. Keep revising them. We will meet in the next class. Bye.